Hello, welcome to my second ever video with me talking on it. Um, I enjoyed the last video I made, so I thought I'd waste no time doing another one. So, um, my canvas, as before, I'm using 20 by 16 inch, and uh, we'll uh, make some painting. So, just start with a, establishing a horizon, as before. Again, about... Uh, about a fifth up the page and I'm using Payne's grey as before and uh, sap green with a bit of carmine red I called it carmine red in the last video for some strange reason just a slip of the tongue and hopefully we'll have no such problems this time so I've got this lovely uh, long handled brush I'm just gonna Add some titanium white just to make some uh, interest in the sky. A bit of movement, a few shapes, no straight lines. It's fantastic, these long handled brushes. You can be very expressive with them. As before, I've made my own Payne's Grey. Just used a bit of ultramarine blue which I think I called titanium blue or something daft like that last time and uh, to the ultramarine blue just a little bit of black I apologise for the lighting, my studio is, uh, it's got no windows, the lighting's poor and um, it's about the size of a prison cell as well probably even smaller it's only tiny but I'm just working with what I've got my dream one day is for a big warehouse to paint in that'll be lovely just putting a few uh, features on the horizon no planning as before just do it just move my arms about and things happen as before this isn't uh, a tutorial it's just me nattering about my practice, the way I work. I'm not in the business of preaching to people what and what not to do when it comes to painting. It's entirely up to you what you do, as long as you enjoy the process. But yeah, if it inspires people, you know, if I can paint, anyone can. And uh, if it just inspires people to paint, then uh, it's all good. And I'm a living embodiment that you don't have to be able to paint. You don't have to be particularly good at it. You just do it. And that's that's my palette. It's just a mess tin. Uh, just uh, some nice yellow on there. Again, I've darkened off the yellow. Put a little bit of orange on. Mixed in the yellow. Just take the edge off a bit. As before, this is all from the imagination. I'm not painting off a photograph or anything like that. I've tried copying off photographs, so I just can't do it. It gives you more freedom if you just uh, paint from within your mind's eye. So there's, there's a nice big bold statement in the sky going on now. Nice... Uh, Patterns. Excuse my uh, hair doing the right way. I'm, I could get it permed, you know. 
my Bob Ross-esque hairdo. Some more titanium white going on. I often paint with headphones on, but I haven't on this occasion. Because with headphones on, I can't keep an ear on what my camera's doing when I'm filming. One time I tried uh, painting with headphones on and filming at the same time. My camera cut out and I didn't hear it happen. And so I missed half my videos or listened to my music. So there's a, there's a bit of accidental yellow gone on there, because it, it was on my brush from before. And it's just gone onto the sky completely by accident. But it doesn't matter. It's just about making mistakes all the time. And everything is a mistake when I paint. So because I haven't got headphones on, I'm I'm not painting quite as quite as quick and quite as freely as I normally would. Just using the edge of the brush. Just to create the suggestion of some trees and some lanes and walls and that kind of thing. As, as you know, um, all my paintings are from the Peak District, from when I lived in there. All my time living in the Peaks for many, many years. And on the horizon, there's that hill on the left. That could easily be Park House Hill. Just on the Staffordshire border. If you've ever been to Park House Hill and Chrome Hill, you know exactly what I mean. And if you haven't, go. It's a stunning place. It really is. More shapes and things going on. I love the freedom that painting gives you. You know, I'm a photographer. And that's what I studied. I did my degree in photography. But then discovered the joys of painting a couple of years ago. And about 15 months ago, I started painting seriously, painted uh, every single day. And that's the way to do it. Paint uh, every day if you can, or whenever you've got time. Just go for it. Yeah, I've still got a job, still work for a living, but, you know, finish, finish work and paint. Great for the soul, brilliant therapy. Long brush out again, get some uh, movement in the sky, a bit of anger. Nice uh, white streak of Jess on my arms just appeared. I, I have my paintings all over my studio and quite often... Uh, I, I cover up my paintings, but occasionally one or two paintings get a speck of paint on as I'm throwing my hands about while I paint on the walls. It sprays up the walls. course this is acrylic paint which is quite pleasant 
to use you know it's, it's really uh, easy to clean your brushes unlike old paint but uh, it's not as forgiving as oil paint because it dries so quick you know once you've made a mark and within 10 minutes it's there permanent you know you can't you can't push the paint about like you can with oil paint yeah, I've tried oils but I just haven't got the patience for it of yellow going in again give suggestion of uh, sunlight on the grass oh nice uh nice feature there on, on the left hand side yeah i'm sorry on the right hand side a few uh, rocks on a slope it, it's as if it's um standard edge or something like that My paintings tend to be an amalgamation of different places in my head. And before you know it, you know, after about 10 minutes, you've got uh, not a bad uh, picture. Now I'm, I'm using a little flat brush with the uh, crenellated tip like a castle. And what I'll do, I'll look up the name of it because I keep forgetting the name. I once knew it, but I can't remember. Yeah, I'll definitely look up the name. I'll just create some nice texture a few lines in the fields and things and by the way thank you for all of your likes and your comments so far it really means a lot don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow me on facebook and stuff like that Quite pleased so far. I'll put a few more detail on now. A few uh, enclosures and walls and trees and shrubs, all sorts of things. There we are, a bit of a lane, a little wall going on there. and uh, the tube of paint just use the the end of a, a tube of paint seems to work really well for adding texture doesn't matter what color it is of course but a few more uh, features in the sky with that flat brush
Oh, accidental yellow in the sky it seems to work all right. Doesn't seem to matter what colour goes in the sky as long as it works. Bit more titanium white. Yeah, I'm not getting too bogged down with detail. I, I can't do detail. My hands aren't steady enough. I think that's why I can't uh, copy off photographs and things. Never be able to do that. Nice little bit of yellow on my flat brush just to give it some uh, interest. Get in there nicely. In fact, on the right hand side, that was a still life, that was a bunch of flowers I did just over a year ago. It's one of the rare occasions that I do copy something, but even that not look nothing like the actual flowers. Just uh, just a bit of practice. It was good fun. Just a few finishing touches on the sky. Give it a little bit of depth. Just above the horizon, there's quite an interesting line of gesso that uh, starts on the horizon, just works it works its way skyward to the left. It's almost like a a vapor trail or, or feature in the clouds. Quite pleasing that. Purely accidental. few more little uh, lumps and bumps on the horizon without giving it too much thought as I said before I don't really mind how I put the paint on as long as I put the paint on few finishing touches looking good actually this will do me nicely a few more shrubs Yeah, we're nearly there, I think. Yeah, I think we're there. You know, as I said before, um, thank you very much for all your support. All your likes and your watches and everything else. It uh, means such a lot. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much. And there'll be uh, plenty more to come, I reckon. So, uh, I'll see you next time.